JMO, you ready to hit the stadium? Let's hit the stadium. Let's get to All work. Right, baby. <laughs> All right, my man. If there's anything Bro. that New York knows about you based off of social media, is that your family man and your big time dog lover? Dog came into my life like a wrecking ball and whole family fell in love with him and he's the best. He's all I talk about, so. Tuck, how'd you come up with the name? His real name is Kentucky Sprinkles Montgomery, but uh, <laughs> nickname is Tuck. So Tuck came from Kentucky. Where did you get Sprinkles from? My niece wanted me to name him Sprinkles, so. It rolls off the tongue, it kind of works, so. Yeah. Good little middle name for him. That's I mean, fun. My niece loves it, so. And he's a golden retriever, correct? Golden retriever, uh, reddish, with brown eyes. Very beautiful dog. You guys got lucky with the good one. I got really lucky. Doesn't bark, doesn't chew anything. I trained him while I was rehabbing. He's awesome. So he was with you during your rehab, mm -hmm. and you take him to training. So that goes along with the saying, a dog's our man's best friend. For sure. And oh. in this case, that couldn't be any more true. Oh yeah, coming home to him, freaking out, whimpering when he's so excited to see me every day after like rehab, frustrating days is just what I needed. Another thing that we've seen on your Instagram feed especially is you love the water. My girlfriend's family has a beach house in uh, Wild Dunes, which is in Charleston also. So we're, we're there a lot. But I've been growing up going to Charleston my whole life really visiting there and we get to the beach and Myrtle Beach and Dude. all over the place. The beach in the city, in South Carolina, specifically Charleston, that's like a top 10 vacation spot and the mm -hmm. fact that you have family that lives there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So whether it's walking the dog around the harbor where you live or like going on a, a sailboat trip around the harbor, um, even taking a helicopter ride, like you've You've done it all near the water, huh? Yeah, the sailboat was really neat. Me and my girlfriend did that, and there were like dolphins everywhere. And it was cold some, somehow, so I don't know what they were doing there, but they were all along the harbor, so we just saw dolphins on top of dolphins, and like mm -hmm. heron, birds, and it was, a, it was a really cool, really cool experience. I definitely want to get out and see the world a little bit, but it makes life a little better when you're in somewhere as beautiful as that. So what were some of the things that you did growing up working on the farm? Me and my brother really goofed off a lot. Uh, it wasn't as strict as you think. We had these two big tractors. My brother would always get the biggest one. And we would cut the grass, but we would, I mean, we were all kind of shapes. And he had a, a pear tree. So we would go by there, grab a pear, and we'd try and throw them at each other. <laughs> It's like we'd be cutting the grass, but then we'd have to go back through and find the spots we missed because we were throwing pears at each other. Man, yeah, we did, we did a lot. Damn, so this was no joke. Yeah, no, we were working from like 7 to 2 because I had baseball starting at uh, 3.30, I think. All right, so you spent a lot of time outdoors. Mm-hmm. I know you're a big, big Naked and Afraid fan. I do love it. Yeah, I've fallen off a little bit now that I know it's fake. <laughs> Could you last 21 days if you were placed on the beach? In Belize, one of the spots that you want to go? No. You sure? No? I'm dead. <laughs> Cameraman's leaving me there to die, too. Oh, man. Jeez, that would be a rough way to go out. Mm -hmm. I've heard those guys are getting like water, like bottles of water from the producers and like eating food on the side, so. I didn't know that. Once I read that, I was like, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not watching this anymore. If you had to pick one person that you were on that show with, uh, that you think you could really last those 21 days, that would really help you, and it could be anybody, who would it be? Man, I don't know. Bear girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking someone that knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good show, yeah. man. <laughs> that, was, that was one of my favorites before, and then I finally figured out it was fake, too. So we are actually driving the car. Yeah, this is not fake. This is a nice car that fits you pretty comfortably. 6'6". Yeah. 6'6", six, six. Six, six, all legs. Need all the room I can get. So 
So we're gonna go grab some coffee because you gotta get fueled up for this practice. Okay. Yeah, long days, you need it, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It uh, sinks up on you near the end, so I'm trying to stay. Keep water and caffeine in me and a little jolt of energy near the end of it. Yeah, how much coffee do you think that you drink like per day during the baseball season? Uh, during games, too much. Mm -hmm. I'll just drink coffee when I'm bored or cold during the game. Mm -hmm. When it's cold out, that's when the coffee sneaks up on you. Because... Yeah. You're right, you're trying to stay warm, so you just keep on drinking this coffee, mm -hmm. and then next thing you know, you're like, man, I just had three cups, I'm fired up. Super fired up and dehydrated. <laughs> yeah. Where you went to school, University of South Carolina, big football program, you definitely had some fun at a tailgate or two. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the things that you missed most about college? Oh, man. Definitely don't miss class, but uh, yeah, probably. We'd always have spring, our spring games or whatever, like right in the middle of game, like right before games, and we would get out right just in time to get there. And the coaches knew exactly what they were doing. I think we won 11 games all, every year I was there, and we beat Clemson every year I was there, so. That's a winning Big season. rival. Yeah, a winning you know? season right there. Shoot, yeah, you win that game. You're good for the rest of the year, technically, right? <laughs> that can be the only game you win, and you, everybody's happy. So, <laughs> yeah, what I have noticed about you is that you love to rep the Gamecocks. You got a hat, a little something right here, right? <laughs> Some sort of South Carolina hat most days. <laughs> Yeah, and I think actually, even though it's not on your head right now, this is the second interview that we've had where it, it, it's it's been with you. Usually I'll wear it in the morning with bedhead, and then I'll leave with, I'll do my hair on the way back out. Mm -hmm. One of the things that looked pretty fun while you are at University of South Carolina was Flannel Friday. Flannel Friday and uh, Tank Top Tuesday. Ooh, yeah. we had didn't few, know about that one. Yeah, Tank Top Tuesday was a big one. When was that? Was that the last week before Christmas break, I think? We had this thing called Hell Week. We just do all kinds of running, 500-yard shuttles, and sled pulls, and duck walks, and stairs. And it was we had the nine innings of hell. So every day you would start at three innings, and every day you would add an inning. And each inning is a circuit of workouts. By Friday, before you leave, it's like guys are just done. Toast. Yeah, you're toast. Damn. So we just tried to make it a little more fun, which. Working out in a flannel was not fun. <laughs> Made it way harder, but it was it was worth it. it was yeah, fun. how much chafing was there? <laughs> a lot of chafing, a lot of sweating. So <laughs> it might have actually made it made things way worse, but we got through it. It was fun. And you said tank top Tuesday? Tank top Tuesday, okay. yeah. Okay. That was on the one of the easier days. It was probably on like a pull-up day. How many pull-ups can you do? I'm, I don't know. I might have done two. <laughs> Not a pull-up guy. Not a big pull-up guy. I was going to say, if somebody your height, your feet might be touching the ground while trying to do yeah. these pull-ups. My arms are way too long to do pull-ups. <laughs> so now with your current team, the New York Yankees, in 2019, a hypnotist came to spring training. There's some pictures up of you online. Were you actually sleeping? Like, what was that experience like? Oh, man, I wish I could remember more about it. He would do that thing, I don't know if he clapped or snapped, and you would just get, like, tired. I don't think I was hypnotized, but, like, mm -hmm. I would get drowsy, almost. Still be awake or whatever. So maybe it worked a little bit, I don't know. Um, wow. I thought it was cool. I tried to stay as, like, open-minded for it as I could. As you were getting drowsy, were you trying to stay awake? Like, were you like, oh, I'm not going to let this guy yeah, pass yeah. out? I'm, I'm going to beat this, you yeah, know? Yeah, I, I don't want to pass out and then flick, and I don't know. It, it, was, it was confusing and weird. Yeah, I always wondered if those are actually real, you know? And I, I don't think I've ever talked to anybody who has been hypnotized. Donnie Sands. Um, he was in high A last year. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, he can hypnotize people. So, if you ever see him around. Donnie Sands. Donnie Sands, remember that name, yes. Do you think sure. he's ever done an interview with somebody? <laughs> like, hypnotized reporter? Maybe you can be the first. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't remember that interview. How'd it go? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so like now that you do have big league money and, and you are simple, laid back, is there a car out there that you think that you might pull the plug on and just be like, yo, I'm getting this? No, I started spending money on like my family a little bit. I brought, got my brother a Peloton. Ooh, all right. I got my other brother a new set of golf clubs. Got my mom a Louis Vuitton bag. Nice. What did I get my dad? I got my dad a, um, I think I got him a grill. Ooh. That's something he yeah, wanted. Yeah, that's a great dad gift, man. Yeah. And then, uh. Um, Shoot, one day your kids will be getting get one of those yeah. for you, I'm sure. <laughs> or I hope so. They better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going today? Uh, it's not bad. It's a little busy. All right, I'm sweet. Business, so. There we go, baby. Um, what'd you like? I'll just take a black coffee. And uh, I'll do a grande cold brew, black, light on the ice, please. I was about to say, light ice is the sneaky order you have to do, or they'll give you all ice and you'll get a sip of coffee and then you're on your way. Dude, yeah, it's the worst. Yep, I learned that in New York, so. Yeah, all the time, right? Me and Holder's order every day. Black, black iced coffee, light ice. Yeah. Got to. Sometimes people look at you like you're crazy, but I yeah. mean, really, it's just like, you want to get the most bang for your buck. Yeah. And if you're paying $5 for a cup of coffee, you might as well yeah. make it worth it. Yeah, they look it. at you like you're cheap for asking for less ice. Like, <laughs> yeah. I just want more coffee. <laughs> wow, this is fitting. I got the short straw, you got the long yeah. straw. Thank you so much. Yes, you too, have a nice day. Here you go, brother. Ooh. Thank you. Cheers, brother. Do it.